Cincinnati artist Nancy Hopkins offers a whimsical take on ceramics. One of the reasons I got into clay is I really enjoy the feel of the clay. There, there's something really satisfying about carving away parts of the clay to reveal um, the image beneath it. So I'll usually throw out a slab if I'm making a tile and I'll um, add some clay to that. Maybe it'll be trees or birds or whatever. And then I'll subtract from that to kind of carve. The way I got interested in working with clay is that I got a job at a local shop, um, just a part-time job, where they, it was just filled with handmade things. I had gone to school for graphic design and illustration, so I had never taken a single clay class in college. Um, but I was fascinated by it. Something about carving clay, I think until you've done it, it's hard to describe. Um, you know, there's just this, this really, you get a satisfaction of pulling the image out of the clay. You know, whatever you had in your mind, um, you know, it's, it's great in two dimensions, it's like, oh, that's nice. But to be able to realize it in three dimensions is, is probably the best part. To take a knife and cut away at something is, you know, I'm sure wood carvers have the, the same um, feeling, you know, with their tools. Mm -hmm. um, but you can use a lot of different things to carve with, you know, I've used chopsticks and, um, you know, you can press everyday items into things and that's, that's a really fun way to get, you know, interesting textures. <laughs> Well, pretty much everything that I do is inspired by nature and animals. The thing I make the most and is sort of my bread and butter item that I create, I call them match dishes. Um, they're cute little dishes with big possibilities is my corny, corny phrase. Um, but really they're just dishes that um, people use for jewelry. Um, soap dishes, spoon rests, candle holders, um, just a little catch-all, and they're just little colorful. Um, some of them are heart-shaped, flower shapes, pumpkins, owls. Um, the way I come up with those uh, shapes, I just, you know, again, I'm inspired by nature. Um, I love color, so, you know, I like to uh, think of, you know, what, what would I want on my dresser, you know, this colorful thing to put my rings in. I glaze those with two, two colors, um, and then I just literally set a child's marble in the center of the dish, um, and then put that in with the glaze fire, and it just melts, melts uh, with the glaze layer. My favorite part of the process is really opening the kiln um, and seeing all the color. You know, with the marble matches, it's to see what happened, because the marbles interact with whatever glaze is underneath them. Um, so there's a, an element of surprise. Even if I've used those same color combinations over and over, um, just depending on what else is in the kiln, um, you know, the variations of the temperature, it, it's always a surprise. Hello. Oh, hey, Nance. Got your order here. Nice. With my new studio assistant, Colin. Oh, hello, Colin. Who's really Good tired. <laughs> One of the things uh, that I love about what I do, in addition to creating the art, I really enjoy um, the relationship that I have with my customers, whether they're online or in person. And here in town, I have several stores that I sell to, so I'm able to hand deliver those um, to my customer. Here, I can help you guys. Hey, Nancy, these are perfectly packaged. It's too good. Oh, my kitties. I didn't have any um, big 
bigger kitties done just yet, so I thought I'd bring you the tinies. And it's just a, it's just great to you know have that connection with people. They see who created the art, and then I see the environment that it's going to be sold yeah, in. That sounds good. Um, and it's just a really, really nice relationship. I don't know. When you're an artist, you just have to create things. Um, it's just, it's a drive that is hard to explain sometimes. And then I frankly love the lifestyle of, you know, being my own boss. I mean, I literally can, you know, sell to, you know, almost anyone. You know, I, I'm not creating $10,000 paintings. You know, everyone can purchase my artwork. There's, there's a range. Um, and that's really re rewarding to be able to share my art with everybody.